What is going on, everybody? Today, we're going to analyze the tape of right guard Greg Van Rotten, who is expected to be the Las Vegas Raiders starting right guard. Today, we're going to get into his snaps. He only played in 19, so the video probably won't be that long. And there's definitely some nice reps. I think Van Rotten definitely has some upside. You can see him in pass pro really do a nice job with the hands. One of the things that I oftentimes say with offensive linemen, you want to win the block, you got to use the hands. And there's definitely some positives with him. And there's also some negatives in which we'll get into Let's get right into the film breakdown. So the Raiders going to run an ISO concept here, which means you're going to get a double team on the nose and the guard has to get up to number 35 and he has to seal him off in the way that you see it right here. The point of this play is to ISO out the linebacker in which the fullback here is going to get up to that linebacker and make contact. Now, here's the thing with this play. The play picks up 10 yards, so it's still a gain of 10 yards it's not a bad play but to me i don't really care about the outcome of a play you know the, the play can gain 10 yards it can gain two yards at the end of the day i care about individualized blocks so in this instance when you guys watch van ryan the double team on the nose is good it's a nice double team but but from the double to the climb it's not very clean and you can see here the 35 who i don't know who this linebacker is i'm assuming this is not the starting linebacker of the los angeles rams but whoever 35 is, he's able to get past Ben Ryan. So to me, you got to do a much better job. And you can see this linebacker is one of the guys that gets to white to slow him down. Now, if Van Rotten makes his block, you could be looking at a one-on-one -on -one situation with white and the safety here. But again, Van Rotten doesn't do a good job stopping 35. So just a little bit of criticism. Got to do a little bit of a better job double teaming, climbing to the next level and sealing off 35. Of course, with that being stated, let's go ahead and get to the next rep. Once again, watch Van Rotten get out of his stance and watch him punch number 93 with the hands. And I do like that, right? I do like a guy who can get out of his stance and really use those hands. To me, that's the way to win as a guard. It's a nice rep right there. Let's go ahead and get to the next play. All right, you guys got another ISO play. Same thing as the one from earlier. Same responsibility. You got to double. You got to climb to the backside linebacker. In this one, he doesn't even get off the block. Now, I'm not sure if this is because of the fact that the center, as you guys will see, you know, he he has the guy slightly shaded to the left of him. So I'm not sure if because the center is not able to maybe flip the hips, maybe the center right out of his stance gets into a really bad spot. 95 gets right underneath Andre James here. And Van Rotten's going to double, and you can tell that Rotten's not able to push this guy over to the right, which would allow Andre James to flip the hips back over which would allow him to get to his job. But you guys can see that he's going to look at 35 right there. And he definitely is thinking about getting off the block, but it's just too late. Uh, you can see he's looking at 35. He knows what his responsibility is within this play. And he's just not able to do it. Again, not a major deal, right? At the end of the day, the Raiders had a couple other options. And most likely, this is your starting guard, right? Most likely, the Raiders have already spoken to Menra in They've already corrected these issues, right? To me, I think the point of preseason is for guys to learn what may be expected here. Keep in mind, the Bills ran something completely different. So Ben Rotten, at his time with the Bills, may not have run a whole lot of these type of plays. And of course, also keep in mind, you know, I'm not trying to make this video to be negative. I'm just making the video to analyze all 19 snaps, right? Or as many of the 19 snaps that have some sort of teaching concept to them. Alrighty guys, so the Raiders are going to run ISO once again, but this time it's going to be to the right. So the block is going to change here for, for Greg Van Rotten. This time he has to set up to the inside of number 93, and he has to try to push 93 over to the left. Just try to create as much separation as you can. And he does a really, really, really nice job on this play. In fact, if you guys watch, there are Munford here. Munford has the same exact block as Van Rotten. He just has to set up to the inside and block number 97 out and try to push him over to the left. Again, same exact block, right? If you guys watch Munford on this play, he's not going to do a good job. 97's going to get right around him. And this is part of why I think Munford's not a starting caliber offensive lineman yet. Uh, he's just not athletic enough, and this is part of kind of what I've talked about, right? So just looking at Munford, looking at Ben Rotten, Ben Rotten does a much better job as the backside block on this play here. Really, really nice shot by Van Rotten on this one. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. You got a power to the left, which means you got a double team by Munford and Rotten. And Rotten has to get up to number 35. And he's going to do a really nice job on this one. Really good job with the double team getting up to the linebacker. 
Uh, he doesn't stick to the linebacker long enough, but do keep in mind the situation is, you know, you need seven yards to score a touchdown on this play. And I think the block is good enough for the situation. I'm sure he, he factored that into his block. Uh, just a nice job recognizing on this one. Great job getting up to the linebacker. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. So keep in mind, he only played in nine snaps in week two of preseason. He didn't play in week three, and he played in 10 snaps in week one. So let's go ahead and get into that week one game. Uh, this is a nice job here. Not a super difficult block. It's really just reading to that backside linebacker. Pretty nice job. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. So you got an outside zone play to the left. So Ben Rotten on this one has to double team here. He has to let Jermaine Illuminar overtake this defensive lineman. And then he has to climb and get to the inside of this linebacker. He's going to do a pretty good job on this play. Really nice job right out of his stance. Double teaming there. Gets the right hand right into that defensive tackle. Really helps Jermaine Illuminor. Illuminor is able to reach and get to the inside of his guy. And then Van Rotten has to climb. And you guys can see he's going to do a pretty nice job climbing. He's going to make contact. The linebacker is going to overplay it. So in that instance, he's going to just push him upwards. That's a good job right there. Obviously, the play doesn't work. Just a gain of two yards. But like I said in a play earlier, the play can gain 10 yards. It can gain two yards. That does not matter to us. The only thing that matters to us is the individualized block, right? The individual thing that he has to do within this play. And in this instance, he does a really, really nice job. That being stated, let's go ahead and get to the next rep. A really nice block by Greg Van Rotten. Watch him pull from the right to the left. Make contact with the defensive end. And that's a really, really nice shot. And this play pops for nine yards, 100% because of that block. Now, obviously, it's a design play to the left. Um, but to me, the thing I like about this play is he makes contact with the left shoulder. The helmet is to the right side. This play isn't meant to go to the outside. This play is meant to go to the inside. And based off the angle that Ben Rotten takes to make contact with the defensive end, you can tell this is an inside play, All right? So it's a really, really nice block right there. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. So if I was going to give an overall assessment of Van Rotten, it would be that from a technical standpoint, he's very, very good. But when it comes from a physical standpoint, he's not that good. And you can see it, right? We showed you guys an ISO play earlier where he wasn't able to double and really move a guy out of the gap. And because of that, he wasn't able to climb up to the linebacker. And here's another play where you can just see like he's not very strong, right? He gets controlled here. The defensive tackle is able to separate and get off the block all at the same time. That's just a really, really nice job by the defensive tackle. This is how you teach it, right? The D tackle has this one fit, make contact with Van Rotten, and he's going to not only create that separation, but he's going to get off the block. And Van Rotten has to do a better job. Now, obviously, this was a five-yard game. Right. And the reason why this play picked up five yards is because it's a really nice design. Right. This design's a super simple concept. And these are the type of designs that Josh McDaniels designed. But the thing is, the play could have popped for more yards had Van Rotten made his block. And again, this doesn't surprise me, right? Greg Van Rotten's 33 years old. He's going to turn 34 years old in about five months from now. To me, the guy is what he is. He's technical. He's smart. At the same time, he's not physical, he's not strong, and that's what the Raiders have chosen to go forward with that direct guard position for this season. And that's not necessarily bad, right? I'm not saying that's bad at all, but that is where we're at right now with that right guard position. All right, you guys, final play of this video. Again, as I said, he's not very strong, but he is smart. You can see that on plays like this, where he has to basically just seal this guy off, keep him from making the play. It's a crack toss, so it's really not a difficult block. It's a crack toss to the left, it's, and you guys can see it's not a difficult block at all. But again, within the play, right, he knows his responsibility. He knows what he has to do. He understands he needs to get to the left side of that defensive lineman. That's exactly where he sets his body up. He gets to that left side. So he knows from a technique mindset, from the understanding of body positioning, understanding run blocking angles, the guy knows what he's doing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a quick one, and I know that there were some losing reps or some winning reps. Overall, I think Greg Van Rotten is going to be a perfectly fine right guard for the Las Vegas Raiders for this season. And honestly, I think the Raiders' offensive line is going to be perfectly fine. I do think that having a right guard for the future should be one of the key things that this team works on. But keep in mind, we also need to figure out who the right tackle is going to be of the future. I can guarantee you guys, Theron Munford is not the future of the Raiders' right tackle. 
And that doesn't mean they won't try him and they won't put him in and start him for a season or two. I just don't think long-term he's the starting right tackle of the Raiders. I think he was a seventh-round pick for a reason. I just think it's going to be interesting to see where the Raiders kind of end up this year at the end of the season across the offensive line. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about Greg Van Rotten in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time with another video.